My name's Glenn Vickery and welcome to my YouTube channel Kiwi Bushcraft and Survival and today I'm um, going to do a, uh, another native plant um, called kareo, uh, otherwise known as uh, Supplejack or some people call it Supplejack. Okay, so um, let's get into it. Okay, so Supplejack or kareo is um, basically a vine. Okay, it's a uh, vine, a black vine that climbs trees. I'll try and zoom it in here. And when you're walking through the bush, you'll probably see this quite often. Okay, and it tangles its way around the trees. Okay, and it makes its way up, right up into the uh, canopy of the, um, the forest. All right. Um, Some different ones here, so it's sort of black or sort of sometimes a dry wood. Going up. Okay, I'll try and get some uh, leaves of it. Here's some leaves here. Okay, so the leaves are uh, alternate and. Um, I'll get a good shot of that. Here we go. I'll get into focus a bit. Now, the, at the end of the vines, you'll have um, uh, berries, little red round berries, and the uh, the berries uh, can be eaten um, all year round. Okay. Um, I, there's no red berries around here at the moment. I can't see any. Oh, there's a good uh, some leaves of them there. Just look right up there. That's perfect. And the red berries will be on the end of the super jack. Okay. Um, right up where those leaves are. Okay. To get to the berries, the best way is to pull the um, pull the vine down, okay, and hopefully the vine won't break and uh, leave all the berries up top. So it's a hit and miss game uh, when you're pulling the vines down, okay. Um, so the other part that you can eat is the uh, right at the end of the uh, vine here's one here light night quite low down and it almost looks like an asparagus okay the end of the vine all right there we go down to there some of them um, you can find as you're walking along through the bush okay how you'll notice with the end here is that it's quite soft okay it's very very soft um, to the touch, and and it and it it uh, let me come back a bit. It bends. Okay, you see there it bends. All right, um, and that's how you know. So all this part here that bends is all edible. Okay, um, right at the end, at this end here, where it's the softest, is the easiest to eat. And as you go further down. Eventually it'll get um, stringier and stringier Okay, now these can grow up to around about five centimeters a day, so they can grow quite quickly um, But yeah beautiful to um, beautiful to eat. What do they taste like? <clears throat> um, well They taste like uh, beans, okay, like uh, fresh beans, all right, so I'll just break this one here off this end part here and we'll spin this around. Alright. So, here we go. Here's our, uh, our uh, bush asparagus, okay, or our um, kareo. Alright. And um, you can see here, I'll try and get in there. That's what it looks like when it's been broken off. Alright. Okay. Nice close up shot. Alright. Okay, and then you, of course you eat it. Alright, beautiful. 
one of my favorite nice fresh has a real green flavor if you can call a green a flavor but it tastes like a green bean okay or a, um tastes like a green bean fresh green bean uh fresh green bean all right just absolutely beautiful all right so all right it's just beautiful now if we were to eat the rest of this part here all right um that i'm holding here we could keep eating that as well all right just pull it you can hear here just pull it straight up all right and just into it as it starts getting stringier you just stop eating it okay when it does get stringier you might want to not want to swallow it but you can still chew and get all the sustenance out of the out of the um, um, plant, okay, or climber, and um, and just really enjoy it, okay. There's one over here that um, me and my girlfriend's daughter were eating, okay, and it's huge, a huge one. I'll just bring it over here. I'll just flip this around. And here it is here. All right, let's try and get that in good shot. All right, we've had a little bit of a chew on it, but this one goes down probably about a good, um, probably just over a meter long, okay? And it's um, obviously, as you can see, it's uh, bendy all the way. You'll see, I just bent it a bit and it broke, okay? So, um, As you're walking through the bush, if you find the super jack or karil, um, you'll, you'll never go hungry, all right? You're just like into it, you know, beautiful. Um, you can have some. All right, so, um, yeah, so uh, karil, uh, bush food, um, good for you, healthy, refreshing. Um, uh, go for it. All right, catch you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so here's another uh, kareo, um, and it's wrapped itself around a um, uh, black tree fern, otherwise known as uh, mamaku. And uh, we'll do the mamaku another day, but here it is here. You can see it tell by its um, black stems, okay. Um, but uh, here's the uh, asparagus looking piece here on the end of the um, vine all right there it is there okay see how it comes back it's wrapped itself around The actual roots of these were used for um, to make a beer. Um, here's another one here. Just there, you can just see it. Yeah, the roots were uh, made as a beer. They've got uh, juice in them, and um, quite a nice beer apparently. Um, and uh, the roots are actually cut up or sliced up and then boiled and the uh, juices from out of that was used to make the beer um, what else was it used for um, the eating the asparagus type ends or the you know the, the ends of the uh, super jack um, uh, Moldy believed that it uh, got rid of uh, scabies okay um so yeah whether it does or not i i don't know and um what else was it used for um the the vines themselves okay um can be um cut okay um and 
you can drink the uh, the juice juice from them. So you want quite big ones. Um, of every one, all the ones I've cut, um, I've never managed to get uh, water out of. Um, I've only seen one of my uncles once when we were out in the bush, and um, he, when I was younger, and uh, he cut it. He cut one and uh, drank the juice from it. Um, uh, yeah, but uh, I, all the ones I've cut, um, I've never had any luck for some reason, although I don't cut them very often. Um, the best way is just to give it a, one clean uh, stroke with a um, machete, a nice sharp machete, and um, and then just drink it straight from there. Okay. Um, normally, you'd have the drink the drinking end from uh, as the the water goes up from the roots up to the vine, the end of the vine. Um, you should have the you should cut it so the water's going in the same direction, so it's going to come out the same direction from the vine that you cut. Okay, if that makes any sense. Um, but yeah, um, that's uh, te reo. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to uh, mention, um, if you enjoy the videos, um, like, share, comment, and um, uh, subscribe. Um, and uh, I'll be uh, making some more videos over... Uh, over the Christmas holidays. Okay, thanks for coming along. Bye-bye.